You guys ready for a very really interesting service? Yeah. The College and Careers group has got together. They are working out of the Crazy Love book by Ch pa Francis Chan, and we have a bunch of object lessons. There's not a lot of youth here. But there's youth that want to come right up to the front. I need some people to catch me for when I fall off this balance beam. You. <laughs> We're going to go into children's time, but this is not just for the children. It's also a message for you. Um, but yeah, you know what this thing is? A balance, beam. a balance beam. You guys use a balance beam before in class? Yeah? Um, a balance beam. You do it? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> when you say that, go like this and look up. <laughs> um, don't tell me, ask him. <laughs> Anyways, a balance beam is used to test out flexibility, agility, um, precision, balance, and they use it in schools for youth to learn about their body, and you see it all the time in the Olympics. And generally what happens is when you come across the balance beam, you have a routine in mind. You get on this balance beam, and even before you're on this balance beam, you're thinking, okay, I'm going to do two, two 360s, I'm going to do a, a cartwheel, I'm going to do a little flip, and then another flip to get off, and then I'm going to finish off strong. And we start our, our routine thinking, we can do all that. And we jump around like little kids, and we climb, and we, we do the barrel rolls, and we do the little somersaults, and we do the, everything we need to do. Then all of a sudden, doubt gets into our mind. Something happens to you. Maybe you've fallen off, and you got back on, but now you're, you have doubt. Can I do what the task is, the routine that's set before me? Sometimes we see other people fall. And in life, maybe it's they're having financial difficulty. Maybe it's a death in the family. Maybe they had a horrific car accident and left them with brain injuries or almost permanent scars. And you think to yourself, man, do I really want to do this routine? Is it something that I really need to do? And you think to yourself, oh, maybe, maybe I'll just play it safe. You know what I just realized? It's yours. Take it easy on the corner, so the wheel might fall off. Um, <laughs> but we take it easy, and as Christians, we like go like this, and we just say, okay, maybe I'll just, yeah, oh yeah, it's still uncomfortable. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just sit here for the routine, play it safe. I won't fall off this way. I won't break any legs. I'll just, I'll just take it easy. I won't do anything risky. I won't ever send my children outside of the house because it's dangerous out there. And, and, and the, the sun has nasty rays, so they'll always have UV protection even in inside the house. <laughs> they'll ride their tricycle around the, uh, the kitchen with their helmet on. It actually cause brain injury. And I'll just play it safe. You know, I'll, I'll go to church, you know, because I'm supposed to. And maybe I'll give 5% because I could afford it. And I'll just play it safe. I'll just sit here. And, and we go along saying... I'm going to do it nice and easy, nice and safe. I don't want any troubles. I don't want any financial issues. I don't want any problems. So I'm not going to cause any problems. I'm not going to go anywhere, do anything. I'm not going to go to the Boulder Mountain and see the views because I might break my leg coming down the slopes. I'm not going to do any of that. And then we pray to God. We say, Lord, oh, let me die peacefully. <laughs> just in my sleep. No pain, no whatsoever. Just let me wake up in your presence. Just... Let me go easy. No pain. I don't want that cancer thing. I don't like it. And what happens in our mind is we have this new routine and we're taking it easy. And in our mind, we want to be able to fall asleep. And as we close our eyes, we want to be able to open our eyes in heaven. And we're at the pearly gates and we want to go... <laughs> How crazy is that? If you were in the Olympics and you did that safe routine, what would the judges score you? Zero. Zero. They, they wouldn't say, good job. You know what? Nice. We're going to give you gold anyways. You didn't do anything. You played it safe. You didn't fall off. So we're going to give you gold. Oh, it doesn't happen that way. The problem is we treat that as our life. And we think we're going to get to heaven and do the whole. But the thing is, if you do your life like that, you're going to end up before the judge. Is 
what is your score going to be? Um, some of you know, uh, when Colin all went out, Vanessa's grandmother's not doing too well. Um, not too well at all. She found out a month ago she had can um, a tumor. And within that month, she's now bedridden and has maybe a few weeks to live. She's questioning a few things, goes through her mind. But one of the things she asks is, did I do life to the best of my abilities? Did I perform my routine to receive a good score? The problem is, she's asking that question now. You have the opportunity, a while on your balance beam, how do I want to score? How do I want to, what, what do I want to do when I get into heaven? Now I know, and when she's asking these questions, and we look back at her life, and she's done a lot of amazing things. She brought up her youth, unapologi all, all, unapologically Christian. <laughs> she's done some amazing things, like back in her day, you do not start your own business as a woman. And she started her own business as a woman. She went to school. She did everything she needed to do. She, put, she had raised a very happy family. And I have no doubt in my mind that when she eventually goes to heaven, she's going to be able to go in front of the Lord and go, The question for you is, are you, are you playing it safe? Or are you trusting God with your life? So this verse comes from 2 Corinthians, it's 2 Corinthians 5, verse 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that each one may receive what is due him for the things done while on in the body, whether good or bad. The other one is 2 Timothy 4, 7 to 8. You, you may go off to Sunday school. I have fought the good fight. Oh, yep. I have finished Great. the race. I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award me on that day, not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearance. Uh, how many thought that I was actually going to do a cartwheel? <laughs> I was hoping I wasn't going to fall standing up. Can we ask the ushers to come forward, please? And 
And I will seek your face with all of my heart. And I will seek your face with all of my mind. And I will seek your face with all of my strength. For you are my Lord. You are my Lord. You are my Lord. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and Love our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, from power and love. Our God is an awesome God. More love, more power, more of you in my life. More power, more of you in my life. More love, more power, more of you in my life. More. 